Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. We had our nice spar with Lise, and hopefully she is all pumped and ready to go. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad she is not shirking her... You know, have to sit down in a boring meeting part of her responsibilities as leader of the resistance, but let's drag Alphano with you. He loves that kind of stuff. Well, Fordola cheated, okay? Like, even Lise couldn't even land a punch on her. Like, don't be so hard on yourself there, girl. You saw an opening and you went after it. Oh, finally we're gonna bring Horiage into it, who's probably been kept out of the loop as well. Now, 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 when he gets here, you need to make sure you tell him that that weapon he gave you was pretty damn cool and that you're awesome with it, okay? Slew a freaking 400 pound tiger like it was nothing. I will always find that incident completely hilarious, especially in regards to early in Heaven's Ward, the first time you actually march into Izel's hideout. And a polar bear takes him by surprise, and he freaks and has to kill it in self-defense. And it's entirely off-screen, but he's like shaking afterwards about that. And and here you go, you have Alize just just slaughtering a 400-pound tiger, and and her first thought is, well, shit, I can't leave the corpse in the road. <laughs> it's just such a such a stark contrast in. In comparison to to how both of them, you know, cho choose to approach a problem, and she's not any happier about the killing than 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 he was, but she's she's much more res reserved and, and controlled about it, you know. Ah, right on time. Alright, so at least we have some clue where Kryle is. So, finally, finally, we have our last zone. I remember my father's words, how they rang in my ears as we left Castra Mabania behind, 
and looked out over the locks before us. Comrades brave and true, they had come from all across Eorzea to stand with us, to stand against oppression and tyranny. Twenty years the Empire had ruled us, but no longer. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. Ere we begin, I would say to you as a proud son of Alamigo that I am grateful to each and every one of you for your part in this endeavor. Now, to the heart of the matter. The enemy appears content to remain within the city walls and await the inevitable siege. Open conflict has been sporadic thus far. Whether Xenos is biding his time until reinforcements arrive, or attempting to bait us into a trap, none can say. We know better than to trust his word. Regardless, we can ill afford to present Garlemald with a chance to ready her legions. It would be in our best interest to press for a swift resolution. A long siege wouldn't be good for the people in the city either. If food becomes scarce, you know who'll starve first. Just so. Therefore, I propose we commit our forces to an all-out assault. What say you? It would seem we are of one mind. Then let us proceed to the how of it. The Immortal Flames will form the vanguard, supported by the Archers and the Conjurers of the Order of the Twin Adder, under the Elder Seedseer's command. Once the main host has cleared a path to the walls, we will bring forward the artillery of the Maelstrom and the Temple Knights. I would have your cannons pound the gates and punch a hole right through the middle of their defenses. Oh, did we bring any dragon killers with us? What about the resistance? Your part will be to occupy the residential district and keep civilians out of harm's way. The people are more like to trust their own. Of course. You can count on us. Remember that there is a second entrance to the city proper there. If all goes to plan, we will have secured two points of entry. Once both objectives are complete, we press on into the city, surround the palace, and hunt down Xenos. As for the science, you will be held in reserve as an irregular unit until we have more intelligence on your captured comrade. Kryle's rescue will be your primary concern, but I dare say we'll find a use for you once her freedom has been secured. Thank you, General. I pray we find her quickly. Ralga's beacon nears its end. Soon, my friends, Alamigo will be ours once more. Did I hear that right? You're benching me. You know, part of me like appreciates the fact that for once you're not making me do the heavy lifting, but I'm almost insulted at this point. Arnvald, where have you been?
I don't know. That's up for you to decide, mate. I don't think anyone has anything new. Okay. So we suspect Trial is nearby, so... Or at least that she came this way. Alpha Note, you were halfway across the world when this all happened, or at least on the way home. Thinker, where the heck have you been? Like, I know you can't share anything over League Pearl because these things can be hijacked and blocked or whatever, but could, could you at least tell us you're along the way? Well, an exactly large force is like four of us. Although I suppose it depends on exactly how many people are coming with us, you know. Remember you. So we may have a way to sneak in, but we're not quite sure yet. All right, so we are indeed bringing reinforcements on this Operation Save Cryle. Sorry, I guess you have a point too. You know, we can't use the same methods you use to snake, but. Yeah, shame you didn't call first. I'm not really mad at you anymore. Like, you you pretty much said your piece, you know, way back when, when we were, when we were there and you changed your mind and you wanted to help. And you were a jerk before, but you, you've kind of, well, at least resolved to make your peace. And, well, now you've fully made up for it, so no hard feelings. So unfortunately we're not going to fill the map during this this whole thing and I didn't attune to the freaking aetherite. I are dumb. Wait, I, I remember doing this trial. And I did something really, really dumb. as part of it, and I'm really kicking myself right now for not attuning to that Aetherite. Because we're gonna be taken quite a far away from- ways from it. 
Um, thankfully, it's right at the entrance to the map, so... I can just go back to Alagana and just, just fly over. Next time I need to return to it, but not happy with myself as a result of that. I was expecting at least another quest before this started to happen. But yeah, sadly, even though we can't fill out the map, at least we can, you know, see. Hey, you jerks! Don't go on ahead of me! But anyway, at least, obviously, we can see relatively how far we've gone. And... I'm not fond of the fact that this map is just thrown in at the absolute 11th hour. Now, Azizlaw had kind of a similar problem, but we didn't know that place existed until... You know, right by the, the 11th hour. And not only that, but there were no Aether Currents. It, they were all part of quests, so you naturally unlocked the ability to fly by the by the by the exact point you needed to. That is not the case here in the locks, and it really irritates me that you still need to find all ten aether currents in here. And some of them are, in, one of them in particular, is in a really darn nasty place. And it's a huge map. Now, Azizlaw was fairly decent sized too, but you didn't get taken every, you know, throughout everywhere. Enough to stick and walk everywhere. You had teleports everywhere. So, I need to find the one thing right here. I see it in the background now. Don't make me walk all the way around. Okay. See, this instance is, is freaking huge. And I did not notice this the first time I actually did this. So I went all the way to the end of the map. Thank you, you're all the way over there. How did you know it was an obvious trap? Okay, shut up. But yeah, you have to trigger this trap in order to, to progress the story. Well, the instance. What? Where the heck is the guy? Okay, you're over here. All right. Yeah, can't find your grandpa without you. So. Ready. Could use a little help over here, guys. With you. I don't know if you could stop sucking over here. That would that would be nice. This this guy literally right behind you, and you have a badass carbuncle. At least this just is just dragging the peg everywhere. <laughs> Alright, we take care of all that problem. No, nope, we got one more. <sighs> Thankfully, we don't have to deal with it ourselves, though, and everybody's here helping us. Good to see we're working as a team for once and not making me do all the heavy darn lifting, huh? So now we gotta look for for more clues. I 
And thankfully we found it immediately. So that's good. Alright, so yeah, we need to... Head to this place that we haven't seen and for some reason people are following me even though I have no idea where I'm going. So yeah, you're actually not blocked off from following this path before you find the device. And needless to say, because I didn't find it, I'm like looking everywhere. Like, I'm like, what do I need to do? I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I went all the way to the end of, of the instance before. I don't remember if I, if I looked it up mid... Mid-duty or anything like that. I honestly don't know. I don't remember what I did or if I went back and, and realized I had to have done something wrong or something before I went back and, and was able to progress. Thankfully, they give you a half an hour for this duty. It's actually standard. They give you so long for 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 these duties but this is this is one of the few that why did you have to pull the damn water scorpion thingy Ugh. can you guys not piss off the local wildlife please ah dang it can't mount Grr. Yeah, without, without any landmarks, you can't really tell where you need to go unless you just walk in a direction, realize you've been gated, and then just just walk back. The only clue that you have is, is, is the magic tech, which also don't show up if you've never activated the queer device, by the by. So, yeah, needless to say, I got really, really lost. Trying to figure this whole dang duty out. I really wish you could actually sneak by stuff though, but everyone following behind you and really can't. I think it's kind of poopy as a result of that. No offense, Froggy, but today is not your day. Thankfully, everyone helping kill, you know, makes this process go by a little faster. Thank you! I mean, me leading the way was a dumb decision because, yeah, I've never been to this map before. Don't know where I'm going. And, like, if you can see on our map, we can't even see the Aether Red anymore. This is how far into the map we are right now. Will, will you stop shoving me into the lamppost? Where are these things even getting electricity from? Like, it's not even hooked up into a grid or anything like that. Oh my god, this never ends! You know, I'm right in his face and you would think he would notice I'm here. Now, okay, Thangrid, you do you. Not liking these Vaughn stacks.
All right, show them what you're made of, Lisa. They're taking forever to knock this thing down over here. Don't know what the heck this thing is, but seems to be some manner of mechanical gorilla. Okay. Empire, you're getting really weird with all your machinery tech and whatnot lately. Be a deer and, you know, actually help heal the one person we're supposed to be protecting here. Yeah, we're here. Where is everybody? And of course it has to be your grandfather that is the, is the one that hears you. Well, that was easy. May have taken us stinking forever to get there, but <laughs> at least we found it in one piece. Yeah, we got ourselves an underwater tunnel to find. You see, we're 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 quite a bit away a ways here. Uh Thanker, that's not a good idea. That's how you get brain damage. Alright, 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 don't be so angry about it. You know, such a, such annoyance from him in that moment would make more sense if... Besides just a one line as we're crossing the river right near... <laughs> Right near the start of this expansion, you know, if while we were on the ship traveling to Doma, then, you know, people, there is some kind of quip made about, lol, he can't swim, but that doesn't actually come up and confirmed until later, because the very first line about he he he, do we need to get your swimmies from his sister could be, you know, just could be just interpreted as just, just her making fun of him, you know, they're siblings and all that, that's what they do. But he is all of a sudden just really butthurt at at least mentioning that, and 
It just, to me, it just doesn't quite add up, you know? Yeah, 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 let's not go back to your thieving days. Uh, hi, what are you doing all the way over here? Okay, well, you're a really fast runner then, because we haven't gone like 20 feet. Uh, speak English, Uriange. Um, okay. So, he's already figured out something that we haven't yet. And he's not telling us because the less we know, the better. Okay. I mean, not that half of us would have understood what you were trying to tell us anyway, but how did you get here so quickly? Hey, did you guys already go in without me? Did you? Yeah, she went in without me. Please. So yeah, another disappointment of uh, how we yet can't. See Z coordinates on the map for certain things and yeah, this place always, always creeped me out, having to go down underneath here. Now, it's it's absolutely fascinating, but... Yeah, there's a whole underwater city here, and I'm totally gonna get lost trying to find Lise. Yeah, look at all the salt debris and everything on the inside. Like, it's, it's gorgeous, but also simultaneously creepy. Phew! No, of course. Can't mount on the surface of the dang water. Interesting little sort of well they have in here, though. Dang it, you guys went too far ahead without me.
Alright, Thancred. Quickly and quietly, I guess. But we're gonna have to wait until next time for that. Yeah, they're they're a pretty big fan of all the, the single player instances throughout this last bit of the game. Matt filled out and we had a big gap in the Aetherite that we never attuned to because we're a derp face. So thank you for watching friends and I shall see you next time.